Hey everyone, John JMC here. So you join me um, looking at Halland. Uh, this is my exhibition layout. Um, this was built by myself and a chap from the Wickham and District Model Railway Club called Ron North. Um, all the way back in 2012. Um, so the reason you may ask is why we've got it up at the moment is because I've been working on it ready for the Model World Live um, event that's going to be happening this weekend um, so I've been doing little bits um, little things to basically just improve the overall appearance uh, daft little things like adding the uh, point lever there um, we've got some ground signals etc going on as well um, so yeah I've just basically been working on getting lots of things sorted on the layout and uh, make it look all good, ready for the weekend. So uh, some of you will be happy to know that the crane that's remained static for so long, uh, that is now operational. So it basically has a little servo link underneath the board just there. And uh, the, the main arm just there is basically attached to a magnet. So if you do knock the top um, it's not going to damage anything or break anything. It just basically reattaches on the magnet. So that's pretty good. Um, I've redone the uh, overhead wires at the back there um, as best I can. Obviously, between uh, between baseboard joints, it's uh, a little bit tricky to be able to do that. So I've not done it at all. Um, hopefully that doesn't uh, get too much of a problem or mark down. Um, so yeah, overall, the layout's looking pretty good. Um, considering it is now 12 years old um, it's getting on a fair bit now I'm just trying to keep it all maintained and looking pretty is quite time consuming actually so and again the eagle eye viewer amongst you will have spotted that we now have a new bracket signal so that's one of the dapple ones um, that I've basically just uh, weathered and painted up a little bit just so it doesn't look very uh, pastel white as they come out of the box and uh, the other thing I've also added is I've added a little tiny AWS ramp um, this is one of the um, Westall Wagon Works ones and um, basically what I've done is I've put a little tiny 2mm magnet uh, in the middle of it so I drilled it out and uh, put a little magnet in there. Now I have a pair of Sutton Class 24s um, that I've installed the hall sensors under and uh, these hall sensors pick up the magnet and what it does is it actually triggers an AWS um, system so basically as it goes over the magnet it uh, sounds the, uh, the, the AWS horn and uh, if you don't acknowledge it I just tap the uh, brake just tap the brake key um, within uh, 10 seconds um, it goes into like an emergency shutdown um, it's quite cool it's quite effective um, I do get a lot of comments uh, about it um, so yeah I'm hoping to well the, the the problem I've got is the locos themselves aren't weathered and a lot of the stock that I use on this is very heavily weathered and nicely weathered etc um, so it's just me I don't know me being a bit chicken to say the least by not weathering in it not weathering the locos and getting them ready. Um, maybe I'll be brave today and uh, see how I get on. But yeah, um, and then that's just the, the end of the layout there. Um, the uh, wife very kindly let me set the layout up in the uh, front room um, so I could work on it uh, ready for the weekend. Um, sadly our front room's not quite long enough to uh, fit the whole of Halland in <laughs> well actually we could fit the whole of Halland in but it would take up most of, pretty much all of the front room so <laughs> so yeah if you guys are coming to the show at the weekend it'll be great to see you um, do come and say hello um, here we are See you all there.